welcome to an unboxing video. In this video, we are unboxing and reviewing the most powerful gaming phone on the market right now. This is the brand new Nubia Red Magic 7S Pro. Huge thank you to Red Magic for sending this out to me. It was only four or five months ago that we were checking out the 7 Pro. Can we just take the time to appreciate the box art? on the Red Magic phones. They're absolutely incredible. Now, before I go any further, if you want to win one of these, there's a link down below. It ends in a couple of days. Enter. They're giving away a brand new phone for free and you can enter. Go and check it out. They also sent me this Red Magic patch. Nice. But today, we're checking out the phone. We're going to see how powerful this is. This is an 18 gigabyte RAM phone. That's insane. 18 gigabytes of RAM in this phone with 512 gigabytes of memory. Now there's three different versions you can get. I've got the Supernova. Also available is the Mercury and the Obsidian version. Anybody else left-handed? I have left-handed scissors. So yeah, where's my lefties at in the chat? Let me know. All right, so we need to get this open without destroying the phone case too much. I typically play on an iPad. But when it comes to Android gaming, I use this. This is my second one. Now, the, all the information is on the back there, which I do want to go over. But we'll go over that throughout this video. Let's get this thing opened for the first time. Here we go. So I want to check out everything that's available. So again, the cases. The cases are incredible. Love these. All right. So first thing on top, we have this. Just a package, which I think is filled Ah, Okay, so like the previous models, this phone also comes with a protective case, which something I've noticed over the years with these cases, the qualities have definitely become a lot better, improved quality. So this one's, again, obviously stretchy as well. Some of the other ones have been plastic and have been absolutely garbage, uh, but this one's not the case. We do have the pin, of course which is to access your SIM card. And this is your warranty information. Underneath that is going to be the phone, which obviously is the main point in today's video. This thing is huge. I have an iPhone 11 and this thing absolutely dominates in, in size, which again is perfect for me because I got absolutely huge hands. So gaming with a phone like this, like this is gonna be absolutely incredible. So as for the rest of the things, Thank you. They're available inside of here. Again, a better quality charging cable along with the charging port. In terms of what changed compared to the 7S Pro and the Red Magic 7, you can see it has a new processor, which is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. Previously, it was the 8. CPU power efficiency has been improved by 30% and GPU clocking speed by 10%. It also mentions that this has an ICE 10.0 multi-dimensional cooling system versus the Red Magic 7, which only had a 9. Also outlines new transparent design and storage, and it has 520 hertz dual shoulder triggers versus the 7 Pro, which only has 500. Really liking the camouflage design on the back of this phone. Something else I would like to show you as well, as you see this, this is an RGB lighting system. Now there is one more thing I wanna show you and that's on the front of this phone. So this phone, again, it's just all screen. So up here, right at the top, it has an underscreen selfie uh, camera. And unless you have a light on it, which I'm about to show you guys, you can't, there you go, you can just about see it, trying to angle it, there you go, you can see it right at the top. One thing I do appreciate with the modern day phones is that the design itself has definitely improved compared to their older models. Not only do we know that this is a gaming phone, but it can also be used as an everyday phone experience. Just like on the previous models, these two here are shoulder triggers, which you can combine in game. Seems like on this model, they're not actually embeveled into the phone itself. It's kind of like a smooth finish apart from obviously your volume button and your power button. Obviously on this side, this is going to turn the gaming space on, which we will check out in today's video. And this right here is a fan to keep your phone cool. Oh. So we've turned on the phone. 
got it pretty much set up installing some games now if we turn on the fan I'm gonna turn it on right now you can see that the RGB light turns on in terms of how loud it is I don't know if you guys can hear that it is a lot quieter compared to some of the previous models and just by the tap of a button you can turn it off as well if you're gaming turn it back on let me show you what else this phone is capable of so you can see the ui now if we tap on the game fan as you can see the rgb is enabled and i can hear the fans are a lot louder you are also able to turn this off it is a standard android setup been installing a few games on the left hand side of the phone if we flick this We enter what is called the Red Magic Game Space. Now it looks like the UI in here has also changed compared to last time. If I tap on PUBG, it tells you the game file size, times you played, etc. Pixagon it's showing as 691 MB, Call of Duty 2.62 gigabytes. Again, you're able to fully customize this to how you like to play. Now on the top right, you can see here, it's going to tell you the total time you played, network, settings. Chain oh, I kind of like that one. I do like that one, actually. We'll go with that one. Red Magic watermarks. You're able to turn them on or off. By default, they're going to be on. There is also other devices available, which gives you extra cooling. So if you are gaming for a long period of time, I would highly recommend grabbing yourself one of these. Also, when you're in the game space, bottom right, if you tap on that, it is also going to turn on the fan as well. Just above start, it kind of has like an eye, which is going to show you in-game settings, GPU settings. You can have standard power saving, high quality. If you like to Call of Duty, you're going to want to experience it the best way possible. Again, mess around with these functionalities and adjust them to your liking. Lucky enough for me, my account transferred over to here. Now, if I swipe from the top right twice, in here you have extra settings. The biggest one for me... And honestly, the best thing ever is being able to set up these shoulder triggers. So you're able to set up the shoulder triggers, which we're going to enable here. So we're going to have left. Um, I'm able to, to move these. So at this point, I'd go into, if we just close this, go into settings. Now that I'm in my controls, I can set up the left and right triggers. Left for me would be the ability to zoom in. So I'm going to put the left over there and right would be shoot. And it's that simple. They're now set up. So now that I'm in here, if I tap the left trigger, although you guys can't see it, my left trigger is going to zoom in and my right is going to shoot. Again, same again, right? It's still going to be shoot. So instead of buying extra, like, controllers, which you can attach to your phones, you can just get these. And this it's honestly so much easier to use. It will also display your CPU and your GPU usage. It's got a bunch more things in here. You're able to record videos, turn the fan off or on. There is ways to disable messages as well, like block phone calls. You don't want to phone you while you're playing games, right? One of the features they are pushing on this device is the under screen camera. So I wanted to show you it. I noticed with the video quality, it was a little bit hazy. But upon taking a photo, the quality was perfectly fine. So, yeah, that's an interesting one. Still think it needs a little bit of work. I hope this video helps you understand a little bit more about the new Red Magic 7S Pro. This phone is going to start around $700 going up, depending on the quality and the sizes that you want. I'll leave links down below so you can check it out. It's going to depend on where you are in the world and currency conversions. If you want to see some more videos like this, please be sure to hit that like button and enter the giveaway. Don't miss out. You could be rocking one of these very, very soon like me. Catch you in the next video.